this production it has incredible energy. The movie's gonna be a fun ride. I run a branch of a company called The Union, and this company sells people artificial organs. It's compact, it's safe, it's comfortable. Everything you want in a new liver. The price, $756,000. Let me just reassure you that our credit department will find a plan that fits your lifestyle. The Union gives people payment plans, but they're very difficult to pay for. When someone doesn't pay for their artificial organ, we repossess it, and that's where Jude and Forrest come in. They're the two best repo men. I can pay. Sorry, that's not my department. Dave, what are you, hanging out at AA meetings? I play a guy called Remy, who's been highly trained in several forms of killing, but he's also a little bit of a philosopher. Job's a job, as Remy and Jake often say. They are, to begin with, the quintessential sort of buddies. There's moral simplicity to them. How's your pancreas holding up? <laughs> I sent the money in this morning. That's all well and good until Remy starts to question what he does and why he does it, and therefore seems to threaten Jake's outlook on it all. We're always going to be weak, but... From the RS? No. Hey, you're a very lucky man, you know that? What you're looking at here is the new heart module, top of the line. It takes something as severe as his heart transplant for him to realize what he's doing isn't all right. When Jude's character decides to move on with his life in a different way, and I have to face that. You've done this a thousand times! What is wrong with you? Falling behind on payment. Your repo, they'll come for you too. Who do you think Frank's gonna send after me? Maybe me. Wherever we go, wherever we hide, they'll find us. What do you want to do? Finish this. Take me out of the system. Give me your heart. Now he's yours. End it, Jake. Now. I'm not letting you go. I can't go back.